the penny farthing was the first machine to be called a bicycle. They're old, they're funny, and for some, still a big deal. Uh, sometimes I go into a local bike shop just for a bit of a joke and ask if I've got a tyre to fit my bike and then bring them outside to have a look at it. People find the, the penny farthing almost hypnotic. I don't know why, I can't explain it, but people just love seeing it. Uh, and it's, it's just a real pleasure to share it with people. Richard, being an already avid bike racer, discovered penny farthing racing on an internet forum one night. So I entered immediately, uh, very excited, and then realised that uh, A, I don't have a penny farthing, and B, I don't know how to ride a penny farthing. But he overcame those hurdles. I'm the current UK champion, uh, so I've got a title to defend. But penny farthing racing isn't as easy as it looks, and it sure doesn't look easy. It's a very dangerous machine to ride. You're sat up on top on the point of balance virtually. So if anything goes wrong, you tend to be going headfirst over the front of the bike. The bikes can be up to five feet tall, and that height has its benefits. Racing one of these bikes uh, pretty high up, you get a fantastic view of the crowd. Um, it's, it's the best way to see the event here, I always tell people. Height is not the only benefit the penny farthing has. Big difference between riding a penny farthing and a normal bike uh, is uh, you can't slow down very quickly, you've got to watch the road ahead. But I find the biggest difference is the smiles on people's faces. When you ride one of these things, people just love to see it. They smile, they wave, they pull up, take photographs. I have so many conversations with people I would never ever meet without this bike and that's, that's the joy of it. People just love seeing it and talking about it.